I'm alone in my office again. Where's my uh, sidekick? My name is Werner Puchert, and this is Finding Frequency. Well, my sidekick is off to the races. Well, he's off to the swimming lesson. Um, yes, we are very keen to have him learn how to swim, especially after we've dropped him into uh, the lake a few times. Well, he also jumped in once or twice. And we used to laugh together, and he'll come out and, Tata, I sunk like a rock. It's funny afterwards, not when it's happening. But yeah, so he's learning how to swim. And as I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm looking out the window, trying to be epic. And what I'm looking at is snow. You heard me right. Wasn't it two or three episodes ago that I said it's like going across to, uh, what's it, uh, springtime, you know, happy times, sunshine. The day started off like that, by the way. Took Francie to kindergarten, sun was shining. I took an extra uh, kind of curvy walk back home just to get a bit of fresh air. I should have actually taken you on the walk there as well. But it wasn't much to listen to. It's just a bit of a neighborhood stroll. Sun was shining. And now it's snowing again. And it's coming down. Wow. I wonder what it's going to look like tomorrow. And I was actually thinking today... Finally, I can do a few short stints on the longboard just to get a little bit more fit because I'm really keen to uh, get back and uh, do our little trips into uh, our side of the river to go and have ice cream and all these kind of things with Marta and Francie on bicycles. Uh, it seems like it's going to be a little bit way off when I peer out the window. Excellent. Quick update. Oh, so much is happening. Um I feel like I'm kind of gaining control of what's going on, but I'm sure there's going to be a curveball coming in anytime soon that will destroy that. But uh, it's good to know what's going to happen before it happens. But uh, I'm kind of in the in the final steps of getting into uh, tomorrow's live stream. That's kind of the top of mind. I'm excited to do that. It's always cool to sit down and chat to Jens, but I also feel pressure because you are a host and you want to make a success. You want to look make your your person who's on your prop property, feel good, look good, and you also want to give value to those who actually watch. And it's becoming tough because, I mean, I have a very niche topic. Um, I'm still trying to find my feet. So it's a bit of a messy situation. And uh, sometimes people log in, sometimes they don't. I haven't reached... Um, Critical mass, I think is the word they say. I haven't reached critical mass. Will I ever reach critical mass? Perhaps not. But I'll tell you this, though, and maybe this is something I can share with you because this was shared to me earlier this week by a very, very wise lady. So uh, Terry in introduced me to a coach. Yes, I'm coming clean that I am also trying to get some coaching because my career and what I'm doing and how I'm trying to serve people is all over the place. It's craziness, man. Craziness, I tell you. But she said something interesting to me that made me feel comfortable and kind of more energized to do what I needed to do or need to do is that sometimes there's outliers and these outliers tend to be all over the place. She's one herself, she said. And... Um, and I didn't tell her this. She she said that what is good to do, and she did the same with her um, career, is to do a lot of things, start stuff, and then see where they go. And then at some stage, kind of latch onto something that you really like to do and then go from there. And I think I've done that before um, when I started my paintball website back in the day. It was something that I was super passionate about. I ran it like a business. It was going for a long time. In fact, I'm going to be speaking about that at the event soon. And at some stage, you know, that stopped. I don't think everything lasts forever. You do different businesses. And uh, since then, perhaps my advertising time was was something that I, I would say was my next phase. And then from there, it was a bit of a blur, fitting into what other people think I should be doing. And that's okay, when, as long as you're happy. And uh, this lovely lady said to me that she's gotten to a place where she's 99% happy with what she's doing from a professional perspective. Of course, 
And maybe happy, in, there's different things. There's joy and happiness. Maybe it's about joy. Because you, what you do needs to bring you joy. And that doesn't mean that everything you do in every second of what you're doing is super fun. Of course, you're going to have fights. People are going to be upset. You're going to screw up. Believe me, I do that a lot. But you need to find that joy and kind of, you know, figure out what, and that, that, that's what I need to do. So she gave me some hope because with all this nutty things that I do all over the place, perhaps there's some way for me to discover what brings me joy. And perhaps I can connect that with what brings other people joy and that would be a winning combination, I guess. But uh, I think it was a great insight. It, it gave me a bit of energy because I do feel like I'm all over the place with doing all kinds of different things. And sometimes I question myself and I think sometimes Martha also raised her eyebrow like, what is this guy doing? I don't know myself. But it's cool. We are doing and that's important. So talking about doing or speaking about doing, I need to go do some stuff. I've got a lot of work to do before tomorrow and tomorrow we streaming a little bit earlier. Unfortunately, my American friends will be sleeping while I'm streaming. Maybe that's also a good thing. So tomorrow we're doing a stream uh, European time. We'll see how that goes. And then, uh, hey, super excited about the next one too. Very interesting lady coming on to the show. I need to think about how I'm going to do something awesome with her. So, I'll leave it there. It's not only about me, it's also about you. I want to give you some time back. Go do some things. Think about what is your extraordinary of the day. I have so many extraordinary things and I feel grateful every time I hit record because then I reflect on what is so cool and the, the ability to be able to think about some of these things and get excited about it. And also having friends around me who support some of my craziness. Grateful. I think that's my extraordinary for the day. So I hope you're having a good one. And thank you for listening.